right everybody welcome back last week we did this debris hut no tools needed shelter this has been standing for a week it has snowed rained froze thawed warmed up cooled off it's been through about everything you can go through in a week's time we've had some crazy weather this year the night we built this it got down to three degrees and this was warm and cozy in there and dry like I said, it has rained and everything. It just rained today, as a matter of fact. Look how dry that is in there. Right preparation. That's what you're after. Keep you protected from the elements. So like I said last week, we're gonna do a few videos on these shelters, primitive shelter designs. And uh, we feel like shelter next to food and water is one of your key components to survival. So stay tuned as we get this next video started okay so in this video um, we're going to show you the modern shelter and then we're going to show you the primitive way of doing this shelter in this video Dakota's got his shelter half United States military shelter half and uh, he's going to install that and then after he's done with that then we'll do the primitive part but for now Dakota's going to get his shelter half set up. Right, you got to pick where you're going to set it up. This, I think this is the easiest way to use two trees and just tie two trees like this and that right there. So you got to clean out your area so you're not set sleeping on sticks and stuff. But just tie rope from two trees. You can use a simple half hitch like I always use. For quick release, man, it holds real good on this kind of shelter. Then next, I'm gonna have to stake these down. Put stakes you come with it, you just like stretch it out and push them in the ground. Now these poles are for in case there's only like one tree around. You can tie one end to one tree and then just use the pole. Right. Like in there to just pull it straight or if you like meet up with a partner who has the other pole and make a tent. So as we was talking, you know, that's that's something you can pack with you. Um, military shelter half. If you got a partner with you, they got the grommets and buttons and all that stuff down the middles and stuff, because if you get and uh, if you're traveling as a team or whatever, the other person should have the other half, which you can make a tent. For solo, that's what you would have, it's a shelter half. You can... Real lightweight also. The other lightweight, um, canvas material. Next thing you'd want to do with a shelter like such as that would be like put in a raised bed or some dry bedding or something like that. But it works just like that, and military shelter half. Now, if you don't have the luxury of having a military shelter half with you, what you would need to do is, um, that could be a design that you could use, would be a shelter half style shelter. Okay, so I would find something like this or make me a setup similar to this, but uh, what I'm going to do is build me a uh, shelter half style deal right off of this branch or this deadfall tree that's laying here. Um, I'm going to get all this cleaned out and use the debris to actually build the shelter, so stay tuned. So now we have all this cleared out of the way. Next thing we're going to want to do is uh, is just build a structure. Our main frame's here. The next thing we're going to do is just cut off stuff that we took off, broke off, and all that good stuff. We're just going to start leaning it up against this like this until we get as big a span as we need. Okay, once I've got my basic outlay of my back here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on my end walls. They're going to wing out. 
on each side, just like the shelter has. All right, that's your basic form now. Next thing, like with any primitive shelter, next thing you want to do is go through and tighten up all your gaps. All right, so once you got all that done and uh, got your holes pretty much filled and you got your, remember on the debris hut, we took the little pieces and laid them over and all that. That's what we did on this. Now, next step's just to add the debris, well, leaves, grass, whatever we get a hold of. Okay, so we're at, you know, this side of the shelter now. That's what we have our debris on. Now we gotta lay our sticks on there to weight it all down like we did on the debris hut. Now all I need is a heat reflector, fire, and raised bed or a whole bunch of debris piled up in here. It'll be nice and cozy. Military shelter half takes what? Couple Less than two minutes. minutes to set it up. If you've got that, that's the way to go. If you have one with you. I mean, you scored real big if you got one of those with you. That was the military shelter half. This is nature's shelter half. You know, in reality, if we'd have been together and he had that, I could have built one of these right off the side of that and we could have had a nice tent where we could have stayed, you know, a pretty good length of time. But uh, for a quick fix or a day or two, and you don't have, if you didn't have the debris or the military shelter with you, this would be the way to go. If you didn't have a shelter half with you, um, I mean, and you want to, you know, kind of a lean-to shelter. This is why he did. But uh, you know, you can pile a bunch of debris in here, raised bed, and I'm thinking heat deflector, big long fire right there. And, I mean, you're set for the night, really. You know, That's a good shelter. But, you know, if you like our videos, you can like, share, comment, subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Mickey Wilson Bushcraft and Survival. And I hope you enjoy this video because uh, we're going to do some more of these shelter videos. Till the next one. That's it for this one.